What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be running through some simple solutions for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 not launching. Obviously, before we get going with anything, it's a good idea to make sure that your PC is fully up to date and of course your graphics card driver as well. If you feel it may be your graphics card driver acting up, it's a good idea to run a program like DDU to completely uninstall and reinstall your graphics driver, though usually you'll see issues in more than just one game. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get started with fixes specifically for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. First of all, it's a good idea to verify the integrity of game files on your PC. To do this with Steam, simply open it up, then search for Modern Warfare. We'll right click the game, then choose Properties, and inside of here, head across to Local Files, then choose Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will run through all of the files for the game on your PC, make sure that they're working as they should be, and if they're not, it'll download a patched version from their servers, getting things working once more. This is usually the simplest and best solution. For Battle.net, you'll head into it, look for the game here, in this case, because I don't own it, I'll be showing you with Warzone here, click the Settings wheel here, then choose Scan and Repair. This does the same thing Steam does, but here at least, it's in a really easy to reach spot. Once the game is verified, things should be working properly and you'll be able to play it once more. But if things aren't working properly, it's a good idea to completely restart your PC and make sure that you close all programs that aren't related to the game. In this case, it'll be either Steam or Battle.net and the actual game itself. Close Discord, close Rivertuna or MSI Afterburner or anything you may have running, especially any program that could overlay things on top of your game, such as Discord's chat overlay, Rivertuna's frame rate overlay, etc, etc. Usually Steam and Battle.net will be perfectly fine as well the game's designed for them so it'll work perfectly. At this point if things are working properly and you've closed all of your background programs you can fire up things one by one to see what exactly is causing the issue. More than likely it's something that draws over the game or something that interacts with your graphics card while the game is starting up. Now for one of the weirdest though apparently really well working tricks and that's to basically reinstall your game but before you click off without actually downloading anything. How do we do it? Well, it's a cool little trick that I'll be showing you here for both Steam and for Battle.net. In Battle.net, all we need to do is locate the game here. For this, I'll be using, say, maybe Overwatch, as I have that installed. It isn't up to date. Hmm. Okay, there we go, it's up to date. How exactly do we reinstall without actually re-downloading the game? All we need to do is click the cogwheel, then show an explorer, and over here we have the game files located wherever you chose to install them. In my case, I chose C, games, then Bnet, and inside of here I have Overwatch. All we'll do is go back one folder, back another folder, so you see Battle.net here, what I called the folder, and all we'll do is pause any downloads if you have any running, and rename this folder here, say Bnet2. There we go. Now. Battle.net no longer knows where this game is installed. We'll click the cog wheel, then we'll choose uninstall, and yes. Just like that, we couldn't find it. I'll click OK. All we'll do is close out of Battle.net, open it up, and when we head back to Modern Warfare 2, you'll see install. All we need to do now is change the folders to whatever we want it to be called. In this case, Bnet will locate the game. I'll select Overwatch here, select folder, and just like that, after a quick scan, it'll verify everything's there, reclaim space, and poof, we'll be able to play it once more. The button's grayed out for some reason, but it does work. Anyways, so at this point, we've practically reinstalled it, and even though we didn't really do much at all, it's apparently fixed this issue for a lot of people. Let's go ahead and have a look at Steam to see how we do something similar there. Inside of Steam, I can locate the game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I'll right-click it, then choose Manage, and Browse Local Files. Then inside of here, you can see Call of Duty HQ. These are all of the Modern Warfare 2 files. All I need to do is go back a folder to Steam Apps Common, and you'll see Call of Duty HQ. Rename this folder as such. Right-click Modern Warfare 2, Manage and Uninstall, then Uninstall. Now, all we need to do is click Install. Choose where to install it. Make sure you choose the same drive so that we don't cut between drives. Otherwise, it'll take quite a bit of time to move all of the game files, even though you aren't downloading anything new because you're moving them between drives. So just make sure it's the same drive. In this case, C and my game files are also on C drive here. So I'll click Next, wait for it to start and allocate some space to the game. Then finish, pause, right click, and install. And you can see a new Call of Duty HQ folder. 
simply open what we renamed it to here with all of the actual game files in it, control A and control X to select everything and cut them. Right click cut is an alternative, head back and into the new Call of Duty HQ folder, right click paste everything here and it'll move all of the files back to their original place. Refresh, there's all the files, it's moving them quickly, there we go. So now I can delete our other folder here that we just renamed it to and we can ask Steam to reinstall our game once again to the same drive and now after preparing files, this may take a little bit longer, it'll discover existing files. It'll run through everything and basically validate what we have to make sure it matches the servers. And when it is done, we'll pretty much be able to play it and hopefully it'll launch up properly, whereas previously it didn't. It's a weird fix, but apparently it's been working for a lot of people. So hey, hopefully it works for you as well. Then we can click finish here. It'll run through and verify the game files. And when it's done, we'll be able to play it just like new. On Steam, you may notice a small download at the very end. That's just the redistributable runtimes like C++ and DirectX, things like that, redownloading and reinstalling. So if they were the cause of the issue, they'll definitely be fixed by the end of the reinstall here. Super simple. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick guide. Hopefully it helped you. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.